Today guys, Simon, New Earth Cooking. I'm here with my assistant, Arabelle. And today, look where we are. We are in my mom's vegetable garden. Isn't that exciting? It is so good to be here. And we're gonna have a little snoop around. Yes, just like that. We're gonna pick some great vegetables. We're gonna take them to the kitchen. Yeah, and Arabelle and I, mm -hmm. we're gonna cook some comfort food, tomato soup, yeah. pancakes, salads. But not just any other pancakes, we're gonna have a little twist, so stay tuned. So this here is called a Volkstein, a garden for the common folks. And these date back to the Middle Ages, as well as the industrial times where big factories would allow their workers to grow their own food. So people, what they're doing here, including my mom, not out of necessity, they have plenty of money to buy their own food these days, but they're still exercising their right. It's a human right to grow your own food and I think this is so important important also for human connection a lot of people here meet each other there's maybe up to 50 little gardens here and there's also all of these beautiful flowers growing everywhere so this is a really good home for bees and butterflies to thrive here look at that fresh chamomile and I'm gonna grab a whole bunch and take it home with me I'm gonna hang it up to dry so locked away from any birds and rabbits, there are these amazing sugar snap peas. Look at them. And you can eat the whole thing. It's not even, it's not even tough. Look at that. It's crunchy and soft like an apple. And these guys here, yellow zucchinis. Wow. There's a nice juicy one. And it's really important that I'm picking this one. And don't let it get too big because it will take up all the energy and I won't have enough energy for the others to grow. So when I'm picking these, the others can grow big too. This here is such hipster food. Kale, oh, kale chips, yeah. We got kale, but this is the real deal, yeah? Freshly grown in my mom's garden. Mm. <laughs> so this is nasturtium. You can actually eat the leaves. Yeah, you can eat the leaves. You can use them like an umbrella, eh? Parapluie, parapluie. <laughs> and you can eat the flowers as well. Mm, beautiful. This is called rhubarb, eh? Rhubarber in Dutch. Yeah, heb je ook zo'n mooie paraplu? She's got an umbrella as well. Mm. We can cook the stems with a bit of ginger and sugar. Yeah, kiss kiss. <laughs> so don't, don't cut your rhubarb, just pull it straight out. It's much better for the plants, just like that. You can see. Sneak under, come, come. So this is an absolute berry forest. We got these beautiful red currants here. Look at them. We're gonna pick a whole bunch for our pancakes. They're very sour. Okay, blueberries right here. Little bush, newborn. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Yummy, 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 yummy. Okay, gooseberries. These gooseberries are ridiculous. They're so delicious. You gotta get right in there. Look at that. Purple gooseberries. Mmm, so sweet. You know, in Holland, it's pretty much illegal to show up at a birthday without flowers. So with this flower bed, my mom is saving herself about $900 a month on presents, yeah? Because she can come here anytime and pick a beautiful bunch of flowers. Ta-da! <laughs> Onto a little bit of baking paper. Look at that. This isn't. You know, you're not gonna wanna eat it. So after a bit of stirring, not too much, you're gonna end up in a really nice, thick batter, just like that. Like this vanilla sugar, look at that, tons of vanilla pots. Look at that caramelized goodness. Ooh, 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 ooh. 